What is up today, YouTube? This is your boy Steve of Ass Motorsports. I'm messing with a golf cart again today, and I was going to show you what I've got going on here. So these are a couple of the golf carts I had picked up in Hurricane Ian Flood last year. This is the yellow, I call it Hummer cart because it matches the wife's Hummer. But anyway, that's the one I wanted to keep. And I got that from good friends of ours. And I've pretty much already redone everything on it, except the motor was in really poor condition. But this is one I'd went and bought cheap off someone because it was not in the flood. It had almost new batteries in it, which are now in this one because I'm keeping it. And then uh, this one had a really good motor and rear axle, so I just swapped the whole assembly over into here. Took this bad motor that was real noisy, but it was running and driving. It was just real noisy. Switched it over into here because, for one thing, I could not get the motor off of the rear end. I was going to try to just open the motor up, change the brushes and stuff in it clean it out and I figured it'd be all right but I could never get it to release off this it was frozen on the shaft here uh, rusted to it and that does happen a lot with these easy goes <clears throat> but uh, last night I went ahead and since I have another used motor I really needed to get this old one off of here that I knew was not going to be any good and uh, I just took the hammer to it with a pry bar and started beating now, I got it moved back a little bit. Well, actually, I finally got the outer housing to just slide off, and the armature was still stuck on here. So I was, of course, spraying, like, PB Blaster and stuff down in here, but this really wasn't exposed yet, these splines. So uh, I went ahead and grabbed my little map gas torch, and I was sitting there just heating it up through this way right on that centerpiece and I mean I was on there for probably two minutes straight and, and moving the card a little and that was making the armature spin real slow <clears throat> finally got it heated up as good as I thought I needed to and continued beating and banging on that armature until I got it off let me show you what I got here this is the armature out of it I messed it up a little bit, that's alright, because I don't plan on reusing it. As you can see, this part here where the brushes ride is extremely scarred, very poor condition. And the actual plate here in the end, amazingly, the bearing spins smooth, I'm shocked. But these brushes are completely worn, there's nothing left to them. And one or two of them are kind of stuck. Well, yeah, they're all stuck. This spring right here is supposed to keep pressure. These should have sprung out a little bit. They, that makes it ride on the armature here. But they're not doing anything. They're like froze. i got to force them to move them. Well, there's nothing left of that one anyway. And you can see all the dust and carbon or whatever from the brushes. So that was definitely wore out. I could have fixed it. Well... Not really, because I couldn't get the armature off without damaging it. So let me walk you over here, and I'll show you the used motor I got to go on it. And what I'm doing now is I took it apart, because I wanted to inspect how the brushes and stuff are, and blow all this crap out. I'm not sure what you can see here, but do you see all this dust? Look at all that. There is so much in there, I wanted to get all that out. But this one, the armature looks good, nice and clean, and especially down there where it rides the brushes. I mean, it's a lot cleaner. Look at how big these brushes are. They're pretty clean. This whole plate's good and clean. Alright, I'll move the springs. Oh yeah, I can move them. I can move the brush, see? That's how I know it's not locked up or anything. Oh yeah, they're good. Much better condition. I like this. At least I know I'll have it fixed now. Alright. So now I'm just going to take my air compressor and blow everything out real good. I want to get all this carbon dust out of here. And that way when I put the motor back together, she'll be good and clean and ready to roll. So I just took and blew that out. And man, what a difference. Now the magnets are all nice and clean. Jess, we don't like the air, boy. <laughs> 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 
And I'm gonna clean this one. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Hey. He won't stop until I put it down. Danny, hey. Danny's all right. But if you pick it up. <laughs> oh yeah, what a big difference. That looks good in there now. Nice and clean. Alright. I've definitely got it nice and clean. I am shocked how good it came up. I mean, I'm very impressed with that. So now, and the bearing feels great pretty much just take it put it right back down in here that's that keep your studs lined up and I can see the hole as I was dropping this down right there oh yeah give this one a couple turns give this one some make sure the start is straight And voila, we have a cleaned up motor ready to install. Woohoo! All right, and then I like to take these two of these out where they hold a big magnet. Just be careful, take them out. This is one of my battery cables, I use it as a handle. Now, I don't have the batteries in, of course, as you can see, so it's very easy just to go right through here. And these motors, they pretty heavy. And I do want to get a little grease real quick and stick on them splines. Alright. This is one of my favorite things around the shop for lubing stuff up. <laughs> so we're going to take just a little bit of this petroleum jelly, stick it on here, put a little on them splines there. We don't want to put too, too much to create like a, almost like a hydro lock situation when we slide that motor on. Pick her right up on there. I probably should take some white out, put my marks where the faults are. I like to take a little bit of white out and put a mark right where my bolts are, where the holes are. And that way it's easy to line it up. To get her lined up, y'all. Lined up. Alright, so we're just going to stick her right up on there. Oh, yeah, we have insertion, folks. Penetration. And then just take one of the bolts. Hold the motor up nice and straight. Might have to give her some little wiggles. Wiggle jiggles. Get that bolt started in there. And we'll get this other one here. All right, that's pretty much it. One golf cart motor installed on the EasyGo. 36 volt TXT. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this little strap off, get it back out of the way, put my magnet bolts back in. Here goes all my wires, which I'm going to have to put this little holder on this top bolt. I've got all my wires labeled with what letter and number they go to here on the studs. And I'm going to get them hooked up real quick. Oh, Jasper ain't going to like this, but we're got about to go take a little ride on the golf cart. Show you the motor working good. 
I threw on a back seat kit that I had sitting over beside the shop. So now she's a four seater. And uh, for an older cart, she's in pretty nice shape. Does good. And it'll actually spin the tires. Woo! Going up this hill out of the driveway. Okay. Oh, told you Jasper don't like that. I guess you can hear him. Yes, sir. She's doing really good now. Drives great. Plenty of power. So, we're going to end this episode of Vast Motorsports on a good note that the golf cart is working great. So that's how you can clean and check, inspect, install, and remove even because that was the one that was frozen on the other motor. And I'll tell you what, what a pain in the butt. But we did get her off. So anyway, if you like what you've seen, please give me a like, maybe subscribe. We're trying to get the channel to grow. That way you can uh, be updated whenever we put out these wonderful videos. I'm always working on something, fixing something, upgrading something. Or me and Jasper are just out exploring. <laughs> Calm down, boy. I'll take you for a ride in a minute.